Hi guys, this is Hai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about accessing the functions from an object in JavaScript. To know more about accessing the object properties in JavaScript, please watch my previous videos for better understanding. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have created one index.html and index.js. I have embedded my index.js into this HTML by using a script tag. Now, what I want to do is, I want to show you how to create an object with a function inside it and how to access that particular function from an object. Let me give obj is equal to use a colon 10 comma b colon 20 comma get message. I am using a function for this message which is an anonymous function that is nameless function. We are creating a function without a name and hence I am returning some message from this. I I am called. So let me save this and how to call a property of an object? We can call a property of object by using a dot operator like obj.a, obj.b. In the same way, I can call get message but with the parentheses. Why? Because get message is a function. Let me show you console.log of obj.get message. If I call like this, what it will print is it will print whole function of that particular property. So let me go here, clear it off and reload the application. If you see here, we got a function without a name and we have everything whatever we wrote inside that definition of a function. Now, whenever we want to execute or invoke that function, we will be using a parenthesis. Let me save this and go back, clear it off and reload. Now you will be getting, hi, I am called. This is the way we can call a function from the object property. Now, for example, if you have a function which is like add function and inside this add function I have the variables like this dot a equal to 10 and this dot b equal to 20 and then I got get message method or a function inside this. So this is called as a function inside another function. So I can use equal to and I need to use this dot message. Then whenever we are using this dot message, then only whenever we are creating an object for this function that will be invoked. Let me use a return type as hi, I am inside the function. So as we know in my previous video, I have explained how to create an object for the function that is a constructor function. We can use add obj is equal to new add and this way I can create an object now if I want to call that function I can call by using add obj dot get message with parentheses because it is a function let me save this and clear it off and reload here reference object add obj is not defined that means there is a spelling mistake for obj let me give exact spelling add obj where o is capital and let me clear this reload here I hi I am inside the function in this way we got the function and even we saw about class based functions so let me use class addition and in this I can define a is equal to 10 b equal to 20 these are the variables and then I can create a get message function and inside this function I can return hi I am inside the class function let me save this and let me create an object for this the object is class obj is equal to new addition which is a constructor parenthesis and now let me call this using console.log of class obj dot get message this is a method and I can use parentheses. Let me save this and go back, clear it off and reload. See, here also we got the function from, from the object. Now, we will see about accessing the inner variables of that object inside a function. For example, I have A and B. I want to access inside this function. So what I want to do is just I want to add that to a and B values. So let me use A plus B. So the output will be something like our expectation of output is 30. But there will be a problem inside this. If you clear it off and reload, we'll be getting something like A is not defined. Why? Because whenever we are giving A and B, these values will be searching out of this object. 
and it will be searching at a global level for example let me give var a is equal to 30 and var b equal to 40 so 40 plus 30 would be 70 now the return value is 70 if you go and clear it off and check it you got 70 that means this defines whenever I am giving direct A and B that will be going and searching in the global state. So I don't want to search in the global state. I want to use only the internal state of that object. Then in that situations we can use this dot A plus this dot B. Whenever I give this then that this will be referring only to this particular object not the global state. Let me save this and go back clear it off and reload. Now you got 30. The 10 value is a of this particular object and 20 value is a part of B inside this object. So whenever you want to access that particular values inside the same object, then we have to use this dot A and this dot B. That means every variable of that particular object need to be prefixed with this dot. And in the same way, how to access these functions. So here, here also the same way we can use this dot A plus this dot B save this and clear it off and reload see here we got 30 and 10 is accessed from this a and b but with the function constructors we have an advantage for example you got some parameters param1 so i can send this param1 from my external source whenever i'm calling it for example let me use this dot param or you can use simply like param1 that will be local to your function and this param1 can be called whenever we are creating an object let me pass this 10 to the add function now the output would be a is 10 b is 20 that is 30 plus 10 total is 40 let me clear it off and reload if you see here we got 40 why because I am passing an external parameter to this and this object will hold that parameter as 10 until unless we create a new object that means if I call this get message n number of time then this particular add function will be fixed with that particular value we can pass the parameters even for the inner functions let me use inner param and I can pass this inner param so whenever we are using an parameter for our inner functions then we have to pass the real parameters whenever we are calling that particular method or a function let me pass 100 from here and now the get message value will be 100 that will be passed to your inner parameter and that inner parameter will be having 100 plus this is 10 plus 20 plus 10 that means 10 plus 20 30 40 40 plus 100 140 the output will be 140 let me clear it off and reload output is 140 now we are able to pass different number of parameters from our function as well as the inner function so this is a constructor function this is an inner function we are able to pass the data in both the ways we can pass n number of parameters for both of them that means inner functions and the external function or the constructor function now let me see the same scenario in this addition for addition whenever you want to pass the external parameters then you can use in two ways one is by using get message for example i'm passing inner param and let me use same like this dot a plus this dot b plus inner param is the parameters which we are passing externally and now whenever i'm using this i can pass some 100 now the value will be 10 plus 20 30 30 plus 100 130 let me go back clear it off and reload you will be getting 130 from class based so here i am able to pass the parameters externally to that particular function but whenever we are creating an object here we are able to pass the data to a function and we are able to access them but the same thing how can i do with that class based there is a method type of thing called as constructor and inside the constructor you can pass any value and assign to your class level variables let me use a c and here what i will use is i will use param1 same like this function but here i am creating inside the constructor and that constructor value i can assign to my variable that is class variable param1 and this variable i can use inside this particular this dot c 
plus so this way i can use a constructor to define the parameters for my particular class object whenever it is creating an object so for example let me pass 10 in the same way like new add of 10 here i am passing new addition of 10 now the value will be 140 same like a construction function so now let me clear it off and reload you will be getting 140 and 140 this is how we can pass n number of parameters from our object as well as whenever we are calling the methods or the functions of that object hope you guys like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you